Uh, welcome back. Uh, here we are, Alessandro and Abe. Uh, welcome back. So, where did we stop in the last episode? What did we do? We introduced. We introduced pairs. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, that was the solution to having two lists in sync. Mm -hmm. We had a list of circles and rectangles, and we were deleting from one, but forgetting mm -hmm. to delete from the other. Mm -hmm. So, when we grouped them in pairs, they would, uh, before they were unlinked, but now when one disappears, the other disappears. Mm -hmm. And we also, somehow, we found ourselves against our plan to have to use pairs mm -hmm. because of this mutability, because of the fact that uh, um, entering new, creating new pairs requires the concept of a pair. Even, you know, the, from a linguistic point of view, the way <laughs> I said it, we introduce a new pair. So it's, it's almost obvious that, uh, that uh, Kotlin wants you to use pairs. Yeah. But then we, the, we decided also to play a bit with randomness and synced randomness. Mm -hmm. That is something that it's, at least in my practice, I, I use it. I think I should use it more. Than, uh, that, than I actually do, but okay. it's very useful to, uh, to shuffle things, uh, randomize things that are in sync because you have an element of uh, randomness, but you preserve a, a relationship between objects, which is that I see personally more as part of order. Mm -hmm. So you introduce some chaos, yeah. but still keeping some element of uh, connections between mm -hmm. uh, the uh, basically, let's say, the graphical science you use in, <laughs> yeah. the, in the art. Yeah. Okay, so how can we demonstrate this? So we could make two lists mm -hmm. and zip them together. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, we, we mentioned rectangles, but what if we use colors and circles? And we want to connect the... The color to the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's also a good point. And, and then what we're going to do is zip them, so mm -hmm. that's a way of putting the two lists together. Mm -hmm. And then we can shuffle them shuffle. and we will see the colored circle to move across the screen at basically the click of the mouse and how they stay in sync. And how would we notice the, that they are shuffled? How would if, we if we sort the list in a different way, doesn't it still look the same? Um, if we sort the list in a different way, um, because if we sort letters, mm -hmm. for example, A, B, C, D, then it's very obvious that mm -hmm. the order is different. Mm -hmm. I think that that was why I wanted to have the pairs okay. of objects, like then, a circle and a rectangle. Yeah. Because this maybe makes a bit clearer okay. then, the, the, uh, the connection between the size. Yeah. I'll start with a simple program and we can yes. start coding <laughs> mm -hmm. that. So what do we need? A list of circles first. Yes. Um, and we want our circle, say, to decrease the radius going from left to right, and equally spaced. Mm -hmm. So I'll make here a list of circles. Mm -hmm. Circle, we need a position. Mm -hmm. The position could be... And for the spacing, we can make use of it. Yeah. 100 plus it mm -hmm. times 20, mm -hmm. or I don't know, 50. Mm -hmm. and the vertical position. And let's see first how this looks like. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to draw it. Mm -hmm. Circles. Mm -hmm. This may be slightly confusing because it's circles, circles. Yeah, but uh, uh, but yeah, this is the method circles that belongs to drawer, mm -hmm. and this is our object. Okay, so I want we want probably also the radius to decrease. Okay, the radius we could say is equals to hundred divided by it plus one. <laughs> mm -hmm. For example, how would that look like? Okay, perfect. Uh, now, uh, how about we and we, we can we can use again the map mm -hmm. uh, that we the map method that for collections that we have used before, because how about we create rectangles mm -hmm. that are a bit below mm -hmm. the circles and whose size is synced with the with the radius of the circle, so it decreases mm -hmm. as the uh, so. We are mapping here. We mm -hmm. convert these circles into some. So row. we need to know now. We need to know the y position of the circle, right? Mm -hmm. To make it decrease. We could art code it, uh -huh. but let's for fun use the yeah the y position. So maybe we could say uh, maybe we could show a rectangle from the center. 
like how Rectangle to create yeah from center from center sorry and then use the circle do we have position mm -hmm. oh wait are we yeah it mm -hmm. But position is a method. Now I'm confused. Is it, uh, ah, is we, it center? Need, yeah, so. it's the center of the <laughs> circle. And we can add basically a vector pointing towards the bottom. So right. that, yeah. So this is... Needs to be imported. And, oops. And offset. Mm -hmm. And now we need the radius mm -hmm. or, or the side of the mm -hmm. rectangle. Mm -hmm. Should it match the one from the... Exactly. It should, uh, yeah. Let's see, maybe we want a bit smaller, but let's yeah. see what happens. And let's now draw them. Mm -hmm. Rectangles. There they are. Yeah, maybe we can also push them a bit farther, like yeah, 200 or something like this. Yes, okay. Right, now we want to shuffle the list of circle, mm -hmm. but keep the sync right. with the rectangles, right? First, let's fail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So what if I here mm -hmm. shuffle the rectangle? Mm -hmm. oh, well, this is what I meant before, that even if they are shuffled, okay. they are... But wait, I want them to shuffle when you click. Uh -huh. So this would, are, would work if you ah. use map twice. I see, I see. But, so uh, you want to exchange the position. Exactly. Ah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So then we need mouse, button down. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. and here now we have to swap or modify that list. Mm -hmm. So that means there should be a mutable list. Yes, right? mutable. So I no, can. No, I don't think it's mutable. Mm. Maybe we need var. We can overwrite the circles list, right? Okay. D also, because we don't need to add anything to the box. But it would allow us to modify or swap two elements. On the list? Is we that could, too complicated? <laughs> uh, okay, so for two elements, yes. Uh -huh. If we want to swap only two uh, and not shuffle them. Right, right, right. Okay. So let's try the shuffle. Yes. So now, let's see. What, what is the difference between mutable list and var, using var in this case? So basically, mutable list in mutable list would allow to mutate the list itself in the sense of uh, adding elements to the list, okay? While having var will allow to overwrite the variable circles. Right. Will allow us to say circles equal to mm -hmm. circles shuffled, say. It's like I have a box of circles, mm -hmm. and then if I'm using var, then I can say, okay, take this new box of circles mm -hmm. and use it instead of the old one. Exactly. While for with the mutable list, what you are allowed to do is to remove and add circles from the given box, but mm -hmm. the box is fixed. Right. Okay. You could also replace some of the circles. You can replace some yeah. of the circles, of course, but with the box mutable. itself is uh, fixed. So circles is circles that shuffle. Mm -hmm. and but now what, what, what will happen now? So basically we're changing the order. Mm -hmm. And so ah, if I click, yeah, you can see that maybe some are in front or some exactly. are behind. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So nothing special happened no. in this case. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So that's why, yeah, it's different from changing the position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. But this doesn't happen for the rectangles. Right, right. So how can we make that happen now? So to, to make it more obvious, mm -hmm. I'll increase the sizes so we can see what's in front and exactly. what's behind. Yes, makes sense. And then we can see that we want to reproduce the same sorting in the bottom list. Exactly. So this basically now has to do with overlapping. Yeah. Like the, the graphic, the, exactly. The thing that we are seeing is that now it's obvious yeah. that they overlap differently, mm -hmm. but the, the overlapping is not reproduced in the rectangles because now they don't talk anymore. Yeah. So how do we use zip to make them talk? Uh, so zip, yeah, we're going to zip the two lists mm -hmm. and we can make a, another pairs object. Mm -hmm. We see circles.zip. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry, I think you don't need... Uh, is it like this? Rectangles? Ah, this is one of the uh, inline function yeah. type? Okay. You can use it like this. Yeah, okay. So you can see, say that this object is zipping this 
collection with his other collection. Exactly. And okay. You can see the type is mm -hmm. now pairs of circle rectangle. Mm -hmm. So now because we have those pairs, we could shuffle mm -hmm. actually those mm -hmm. pairs, but I'm going to use var. Mm -hmm. And we don't then use, we don't need var here anymore, right? I think we still do, do? because when we click, oh no, I mean, uh, of yeah. course, no, we don't need it. Yeah. Because we will pass to the drawer directly using uh, our beloved map yeah. to obtain the first and second mm -hmm. in the. Okay, super. So super, now I the see. thing we're going to mutate is the pair. Yes. And then pairs is equal to pairs shuffle. Exactly. But now we just have to render those. Yes. No, but now we need also probably to change what we render here. Yeah, the yeah. circles refers to yeah, yeah, actually yeah. in print yeah in principle uh, we need circles and rectangles only as a placeholder to create the pairs mm -hmm. but they don't play any other no. yeah you're right mm -hmm. so this is the old style mm -hmm. we are not drawing that we're gonna draw now drawer yeah. circle the first yes and am I missing oh no it's not circles but circle and drawer rectangles mm -hmm. no rectangle second and i think that would be our program um it's a bit hard to see yeah and there's what's... an easy solution to make it a bit more obvious okay uh, if we randomize a bit the sizes of the exactly and and the circles though as well also yeah also, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yes okay so well we could gain by randomizing these ones he randomizes also <laughs> the other because they're linked yeah okay because cool. this depends on that yes okay so Random double mm -hmm. between 50 and 120. Mm -hmm. So now... You can see that now they shuffle. Yeah. It's cool because it's, it's not super obvious. No, but it's... But it's a uh, nice... You can see that they are connected. Exactly. And this connection gives somehow a persistence of order even when ran once randomness is introduced. And I think one last point maybe that uh, we can uh, see is that we have used for each, right? Mm -hmm. And we draw circle and rectangle, yeah. but we can still use circles, most probably, by using map. Right, this like, would be that's, another, that's option. Another, another option. Drawer, circles, uh, it would be pairs, map, the first ones mm -hmm. and rectangles, pairs, map, uh, it's second. Mm -hmm. So in that case, we don't need this, mm -hmm. but we use this other approach and it will still... And uh, I would say that, of course, from the function, from the outcome point of view, these two approaches are uh, completely equivalent, but from the syntactically point of view is mm -hmm. up to you the user to decide yeah. which way you like it best and which mm -hmm. way is best for you to read and yeah. is, it, it, it and which one combines with your way with your semantic way better so mm -hmm. it's nice to have both the approaches so yeah. that we can sometimes you want to do further operations and exactly. maybe one of the two approaches exactly. makes it for, easier. For instance, the, I would say that the second approach is less suitable, at least to me, if I had more than one line of code. So mm -hmm. if we, I wanted to something else happen in in the, the in the pairs, mm -hmm. like for instance, that the circle animates and yeah. do things like this, I would not use the second approach. Right, right. Because it would be, I, I would lose mm -hmm. the com compactness of the, of the the, I would say the the, um, the the way of writing it, yeah. and I would go for uh, for yeah. each personally. The this approach works great if if you just want to draw circles or exactly. rectangles and that's it. Mm -hmm. But if you want to further do things, yes, then this exactly. Is and also notice that at this stage, uh, this approach doesn't uh, allow you to further sync them. Mm -hmm. um, but while, for instance, suppose I want to generate uh, um, a new color at each frame, but I want to be the same for both the elements, I would go for the first approach, define it there, mm -hmm. and, yeah. you know, keep yeah. it. I'll, I'll finish just by showing that we could filter out some items. Mm -hmm. So very simply, I could just mm -hmm. hit filter random dot boolean mm -hmm. and... Just by typing that, mm -hmm. 
uh, first, it's a bit funny because we create a full list mm -hmm. and then we drop out part yes. of it. Yes. And maybe also another thing that we can do and uh, as a last thing, we can maybe introduce another... The, of course, we are... Uh, probably suggesting to go and read the collections page on Kotlin because there's lots yeah. of things you can do with collections. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that here would be maybe doable is to sort them right. according to area and make mm. them, <laughs> you know, write the lowest in front. Yeah. Okay? Least collections have lots of methods mm -hmm. like sort, exactly. like sublist. Exactly. And you um, could sort them by key, for instance. And in this case, uh, open render like generously gives you uh, the area property of a uh, rectangle and uh, circle. You don't have to compute it. I know it seems not much, <laughs> uh, but when you deal with more complex ch shapes, you will be happy that there is such, uh, how to say, um, in uh, high level function for you to do this. And this is something that it's fun to play with. So this is maybe an exercise mm -hmm. for the for the viewers or whatever, whoever wants to to play with this, uh, sort, sync sort uh, mm -hmm. the list so that, yeah, the smaller circle appear on front, yeah. the other one appear mm -hmm. on the back. Okay. Cool. And I think we stop here yeah. with this episode. Okay. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, see you in the next one. See you in the next one.